guys, so we are going to start a new math um, chapter today, and it's all about 3D shapes, or three-dimensional shapes. So last, a couple chapters ago, we talked about 2D shapes, which were our flat shapes. So we had triangles, squares, trapezoids, rhombuses, hexagons, octagons, um, all of those shapes are going to be 2D. So now when we're thinking of 3D, we're thinking of shapes that look kind of like this. 3D shapes are shapes that stand up or stand out. And they are normally made up of 2D shapes. So one way that we can describe 3D shapes would be if they are, what these two are, are curved. So a ball or a sphere would be curved. It's not flat. It's rounded. And so would a cone, because if you look at the cone around here, it's rounded. So these would be curved shapes. So we have a sphere, which is kind of like a basketball, and we have a cone, which looks just like an ice cream cone. Other types, ways that we can describe them would be flat. So we have this shape right here, which is made up of six squares. We have one, two, three, four, five, and six. It's made up of six squares, and it's called a cube. And this we would describe as being flat, or having six faces. So faces is what we can use to describe one of the sides. So looking at this, we would have one, two, three, four, five faces, and the faces would be the shapes of square and triangles. Now, we have this shape here too, and it's similar to this one, but this is a cube, and this is not a cube, because these faces are not squares, they are rectangles. So we call this a rectangular prism. So a rectangular prism has six faces or six sides and they are either squares or rectangles. So today I want you to look at your shapes in your workbook and I want you to try and describe them. And while you're looking at your shapes I want you to think about well what does this shape remind me of? It reminds me of a can of chicken noodle soup. Have fun!